Hello viewers. In today's tutorial we will see the overview of Kodichi Pharmasoft. This software is one of the best software to maintain your pharmacy. In the dashboard section you can see the list of expired products. Products below reorder point, meaning the products to be reordered. Total transaction till date. Current month transaction. Today's transaction. Okay. Let's see how to add products in Kodichi Pharmasoft. To do that just click on Add Product button, or you can go to Product and Stock then Add Products. Under Product and Brand Name you just enter the initial of product. Like I will enter P, you can see all the product's name whose initial is P, over 1 lakhs product name, and its details are there in our database to help you. As I have select a product, you can see the details of the product already came up. Enter a batch number if any. Enter weight of the product. Enter item unit. Enter sub item unit. Enter free items if any. Enter reorder quantity. I will enter 10 here. This means when only 10 strips will remain left, you will be prompted in the dashboard to make order. Enter the MRP rate. Purchase rate. Discount if any. Manufacture date. Expiry date. Rack number. Tax details. If you have any other taxes, then you can enter it by going to setting then tax setting. Now click on the add button. Product added successfully. You can see the added products here. If you want to update or delete any product, just right click on them and do the needful. Let's see how to add supplier. Just click on the add supplier button. Here you can enter the details of your supplier. A code will be generated automatically. Enter the name of the supplier. Enter address. Enter state. City. Pin number. Work for. Work zone. Contact number. Email ID GST number if any. DL number if any. Add her number and PAN number. Now click Add button. You can see the details of the supplier here. You can update or delete supplier by right click on them. If you want to add your customer, you can do it by clicking on the Add Customer button. You can see a customer code automatically generated. Just enter the name, address, state, city, PIN number, contact, email ID if any. Now click on the Add button. You can see all the customer details here. Now let's see how to purchase. Just click on the purchase button. A window appeared. Enter invoice number. Enter supplier code. Enter purchase date. Enter product name. Enter batch number if any. Enter weight. Item. Sub item. Free items if any. MRP rate of the products. Purchase rate. Discount if any. Manufacturing date. Expiry date. Reorder quantity. Rack number. Tax details. Click on the Add button. Now click on the Submit button. And follow the process. This is how you can purchase products. Now click on the Sale button. You can see an invoice number here. Enter contact number. Customer name and will came automatically if you have added the customer before. Enter doctor name here. Enter sales date. Product name. You can see all the details comes up. Now enter the quantity to be purchased. Enter the tax details. Click on the Add button. Now click the Submit button and do like this. In this way you can work on the software. This is the overview of the software. We will make tutorials for each options later in details. That's all for the day. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. If you have any queries or suggestion comment below. Thank you.